gonna say with the good news, but Kevin, not everyone wants it to be warm around Christmas. Yeah, not everyone does, but there's about half of us that probably do, I think. So a lot of us will be happy, at least the half anyway, that is looking forward to a mild Christmas. Because tomorrow morning's going to be cold again, but not as cold as it was this morning. Okay, 20s will feel tolerable compared to what you woke up to this morning and stepped out the door facing. Already tonight, you can see things are much improved again. Around our region, temperatures continuing to run some 10 to 15 degrees warmer than they were last night at this exact very same time. That's because we are now on the backside of a big dome of high pressure that is going to rule the roost, to be quite honest with you, through the holiday weekend. This is going to be just a massive area of high pressure that is essentially going to block any real storm systems from making it towards the East Coast. And that means, well, with us on the backside of it, that means we'll be on the warm side of that high pressure system. And that means, well, the mild weather, once it gets here, is here to stay and will stay through the Christmas holiday with temperatures expected to remain in the 50s. In fact, we start the warming trend tomorrow with a nice jump. We'll probably see temperatures climb about 8 to 10 degrees warmer than they were today. Now places in the mid 40s, upper 40s to near 50 on Saturday, low 50s on Sunday and then mid 50s Monday and Tuesday, and it still looks equally as mild on Christmas Day itself. So here's a live look downtown tonight again, faring much better. Only 31 tonight. This hour last night, we were already down into the teens. All right, we got a light southwest breeze out there, so it does feel cold, but it's a lot better than it was. In fact, regional around the entire region, temperatures are considerably warmer. Notice tonight, no teens out there. In fact, the coldest reading you'll find up there in Hamilton at 23, it's 27 in Harrison, 31 in Wyoming. You remember last night, there were some places that were already down to around 13 and 12 degrees, so we are again in much better shape tonight. So here's your hour by hour forecast. Temperatures will slowly continue to sink their way down into the 20s. Most of us will end up in the mid 20s to start, but expect a nice recovery tomorrow with sunshine and a nice south breeze. It won't take quite as long to get going tomorrow. We were so low today. Tomorrow we won't be quite that low. Thus, it will be a little bit warmer finish. Future cast is pretty quiet again with no major weather systems to speak of aside from some passing clouds and there will be lots of sunshine. These will mainly be high clouds. Expect very pleasant weather through the holiday weekend around here. I mean, nothing to complain about unless you were hoping for a white Christmas and looking for snow and I just don't see that here in the next seven to 10 days. So clear and cold tonight 24 for the overnight low and then for tomorrow sunny milder a nice day 46 for an afternoon high. Here's your day planner. There will be again a decent frost in the morning, but with that south breeze that will get ate up pretty quickly. Here's a look at your seven day forecast. All right, there's that beautiful stretch of weather taking us through Christmas. We might have to add some showers in there on Thursday, but overall I think Mike and Shree, this is great for those that got last minute shopping to do. If you're traveling, it looks pretty quiet anywhere really in the Ohio Valley on Christmas and Christmas Eve. All right, Santa will be happy. Uh, you know, you get beaten down there in the North yeah. Pole like Mrs. that. Mrs. Claus is going to say, great, go outside yeah. and play. Go play golf. <laughs>